Who was the coolest fighter you met? And, and the uncoolest. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do top. Look, I'll tell you this much. All respect. But out of all Please. of the fighters, definitely looked the most unapproachable. Because he wasn't and wearing then a shirt. Also, when because you could see his nipples through yeah. the shirt. You're like, kind of bro. Yeah. At that point, I was going nuts. Yeah. Holy. Sh for me, that's yeah. when I realized one, Max is faster than Wait. him, yeah. and then two, Max did such a good job with his reads. Like they, they studied tape, they knew his reactions, and every time he would dip, it was either the uppercut, yep. spinning back kick. back kick. They had stuff ready to go. Michael Chandler has been sitting on the couch, dude. He hasn't even been in a movie with Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, yeah. Conor McGregor's been sitting on a yacht, hasn't even been near a gym. Uh, he's been doing stunt training, and it's really hard, right, Gil? It's Tell him. Very hard. So you know well, what's I, not, bro? Stunt training is the easiest thing I've ever witnessed. Yeah. Dog. Connor's gonna make this look like Eddie Alvarez, brother. So, and he's gonna be Eddie Alvarez. I hope <laughs> so. And we're back with another episode of The Casuals. I am here with my co host, the only fighter on this podcast, Nick the Ear Dunn, just turned 31. We got Gilbert. <laughs> Galan over here to the left corner, the dancing man and Don't all the insurance car commercials. He will sell you insurance and make you buy the most expensive package. Right here, we got a special guest, man himself, uh, David. So <laughs> give it up for no, David. No, no, no. David Cho. <laughs> David. So I was, I was trying to. Steven Yu. I literally was trying to think of like a, a UFC thing. <laughs> My boy, who was at the UFC 300, Robin over here, Dana White's, best, here. Friend. Dana Dana White's, White's best, best friend. friend. <laughs> I thought I was, I thought I wanted something heat, but I just couldn't get some heat. We got Robin, and then we got me. My name's Alex. <laughs> guys, that's the show, uh, guys. We are the Casuals. We are combat sports and MMA show hosted by very casual fans. As you heard from Alex's intro, it's a whole mishmash of people, typically Asian, but you know what? We got diversity today. We brought a Latina X. Wow, uh, my favorite Latina X. Cool, in you man. House. Thanks, man. Uh, man, we're just gonna get into it, guys. UFC 300. I think it's one of those moments when, you know, like when Michael Jackson died or when Jordan scored 60 something uh, with the flu. <laughs> we're all gonna remember where we were. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, trivia: Where were you when Michael Jackson died? Ooh, see, I switched it up on you. I guys. was picketing outside, and I was like, "Fucking." You know, free Michael, he's innocent. That's what I was doing. Damn, outside. oh, that's you a know. hot take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The top. Where I was we? like, he didn't do anything. I don't know where I was, but I think I might have been masturbating. <laughs> Dude. Shot, people, huh? Ooh. Ooh. That's cool. Yeah, where you I, were. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know. How how long ago was that? Shoot, I don't know. I was in high school working at a deli. But that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> we're probably at the age group, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, ah. But there was another moment in time. UFC 300. Fuck yeah. Yeah. We were all at various locations. I was spending time with Alex Lifgott Acosta in a house. Uh, David was in Hawaii. Yep. Nick was watching Pugs with his wife. Yep. But there was one person who was brought to UFC 300 by Dana White. He was chauffeured by a white chauffeur. That's Ooh, a, those are expensive. Those are very expensive. Very expensive. Yeah. That's true. The white he ones was, are expensive. His name was Calvin, wasn't it? Or would you? Um, Kurt. 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 Yeah. Good at his job. <laughs> I was close. Calvin yeah, yeah, Kurt. Yeah. yeah. Um, he was at the weigh-ins up front. Alex said he might even saw this person at the weigh-ins live. And this person was faded, but he was present with his wife at UFC 300 at... Baby mama, <laughs> not wife. Baby yes. mama at... <laughs> T-Mobile Arena, Robin, everybody. Robin, you got to just so tell wild. us right now, man. What, as our cor as our um, our correspondent for the Casuals at UFC events and being Dana White's best friend, uh, just <laughs> give us your general thoughts of your experience at UFC 300. Before you ask that, yeah. did he ask about us at all? Did he say he wanted to come on the Casuals? Did he mention <laughs> us? Did he? You know, he he heard Alex say that he's going to work for the UFC one day. <laughs> And then he said, "No, Maybe. he's not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that won't happen." <laughs> he's like, "Tell him to go work at PFL yeah, Tour." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I love that word, <laughs> yeah. PFL PL Tour. PFL Tour. Dude, I love that. Uh, okay, let's just keep it easy. What was your favorite moment? Favorite moment by far. I don't remember experience anything other than the Holloway fight. But <laughs> in terms of like outside the fight, the VIP. I think it was crazy because I didn't have any expectation of what that meant um you know like we got flown in and you know he also uh, uncle dana put us up that's so cool nice. but we flew southwest so i was like okay 
yeah. you know, like interesting it's, UFC on a budget. Yeah, mm. you know. So I was like, okay, so then which is fine, sixty-seven dollars. Totally but way. I was like, okay, this might set the general precedence of like, okay, you know, yeah. like it's fine. You know, Motel we're gonna, we might be yeah. at Circus Circus. You know, you yeah, know. yeah, whatever, yeah. right? You know, <laughs> I, whatever. They had a great buffet, right? Circus Circus. So yeah. we we end up finding out, like, you know, like because they only give you the information like a few days before, yeah. right? So, anyways, we we flew in. Um, from Burmick, and then we basically just landed, and then we went straight to the press conference on um, Thursday. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Like, yeah, private driver with the, you know, my name on it, you know, all that stuff. The guy picked us up. We went straight to, and I was like all stressed out because, like, I was like, dude, we don't have time to stop by the hotel. We just got to go straight to the weigh-ins, right? Oh, I see. So I even brought my camping gear backpack because I was like, I don't want to carry around a piece of luggage. I just <laughs> rather have a backpack, yeah. right? So I bring this and then of course we were able to leave everything into the driver's section. We roll into the MGM <laughs> straight up all security, you know, like where all of the celebrities, fighters enter. So like everyone's sitting there like waiting, standing around waiting and I'm like, you know, it's just fucking us, you know, like me and my girl, we're just normal people, but we get out and people are like, mm, who's that, you know? So like yeah. we go in. Who's this Dagestani guy? The small eyes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right? No, no. Like, and is, then, is, is this Shafkot's no. guy? Or yeah, yeah. Shafkot's cut, 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 cut man? I oh, gotta say this. <laughs> Fast forward the whole trip. I am officially fucking David Cho. Shout out, young. Uh, I am David Cho. Oh, I can Cho. see people confusing yeah. you for him, yeah. Okay. Love dude. In the beef. beginning. Holy shit. I'm seeing it now, dude. In the beginning. I was getting so many, like, dude, you were on the Joe Rogan podcast. Uh, and then everyone's trying to take a picture with me That's or whatever. Fucking wow. Wow. I'm like, oh, I'm not that guy. I'm not that no, guy. I think you're thinking of not David that guy, Cho. Pal. Why didn't you commit to it? No, just because in the beginning, I'm like trying to explain. I'm like, dude, I'm not David Cho. I'm just a fucking nobody. That's something you know? David I'm Cho would say. Yeah, yeah. Just a nobody. <laughs> okay. I'm humble. So everybody doubles down. Not one person believes me except one of the UFC staff that asked me. But outside of that, like all the fans or just people that we saw were like, can I get a photo? Can I get an autograph? So in the beginning, I was trying to explain myself. But at some point, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. There we go. And then I just started taking pictures yeah. with people. That's and, so David fucking awesome. getting all these notifications. At, yeah. He's like, I'm not even there. That's what not even me. I'm in Brazil. <laughs> <painting."> no, no, <laughs> exactly. He was like, totally not. Obviously, he wasn't there. And then so there was literally points where, so our back lounge, where you access like the kind of the general private lounge, when you're going back to your seat, mm -hmm. so you can go back between the backstage and obviously your seats, right? The way you get there is through that main entrance of where the fighters come in, Whoa. right? Damn. So here's the thing, right? Everyone's like rabid fans. So anybody coming out of that corridor into the opening, everyone's like just staring at you. Yeah. And I'm not used to that. Like, <laughs> so everyone's like, dude, dude, dude. everyone's like trying to like, you know, like bump your, and I'm like, dude, I'm a fucking nobody, right? <laughs> so anyways, this one dude, he comes down like around where we're sitting and then like he, he doesn't have access to where we're at, right? Cause we're generally like at the floor area. And he comes down, he's like, please, can I get a picture? I'm like, and then this was like the last guy that, that, that brought it up. But I was like, yo, yo, I think you think I'm David Cho, but I'm not. He's like, no, please, can I? He's like, I'm David Cho. <laughs> they just ignore you just straight up. <laughs> I think I had like two different rebuttals about how I'm not David Cho. Yeah. That's crazy to defend yourself like so that. So then the security comes in. He's like, hey, you know, tells the guy to go back, right? So <laughs> he's going up the stairs all like head down, super Man. sad. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. And I was like, you know what? Yo, yo, just fucking calm down. And yeah. I came down. I took a picture with him with a <laughs> selfie. And he was just so happy. And I was like. I don't know if I ever want to be a fucking celebrity. <laughs> you know, Shit. like imagine it was he dude. didn't take the picture. That's the guy that flipped up Armand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got all mad. David yeah, Cho, yeah. dude. That's fucking dude. I didn't even hilarious. know that that happened until after the event. Like I was just uh, looking at it. That, that does make that. sense though. Like you're getting that backstage streaming. Like if I'm a fan, I'm gonna assume you're famous. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah, not, that's true, though. I'm just thinking about, like, you two guys. Like, who people think you guys are? Yeah, who I they get think? told I'm, I look like Jack Black the most. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't Dude, know why. Dude, why is Jack Black wearing all Supreme okay. right now? I don't know why. Jack Black and then the guy from that fucking Google commercial or whatever. What? There's, like, a, a Google commercial, and then, like, he's, like, looking hey, at his Hey, just so you know, there's no fan. be like, oh, shit, the oh, guy my God. the I can, show you, I can show you the fucking DMs. It's it looks crazy. just like him, though, kind of. But it's never, it's it's not just a celebrity thing. It's just, oh, this guy must be some rich fucking. Yeah, because you're, like, yeah, down yeah. there and shit. It, I'll probably be yeah. Jack Ma. They'll probably think I'm Jack Ma. Oh, my God. The or Ro Brooklyn Nets owner. <laughs> <laughs> they let him out, trying to let him free. Yeah, so Fish is David Show the whole weekend. That's pretty fucking sick. man. Is there, like, food for you guys back there? Yeah, yeah. How does that work? The food's kind of whack because T-Mobile is handling it. Because when mm -hmm. when we went to the Apex Center, it was actually nice because they catered like a Greek sense. restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like what? That's oh, so really? right? wild, yeah, yeah. And so like the food was like they'd like yeah, even have suck like, T-Mobile. Yeah, but T-Mobile <laughs> was like it's like basically white people food. Like mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like 
like no Korean sides, hot yeah. dogs, and no banchan. Yeah, I mean, there was charcuterie, so like you know, like <laughs> I, I, I ate berries and cheese the whole night. Ooh, nice. that's all I was eating because there was some pretty sketch looking stuff. Who was the the coolest fighter you met or coolest celebrity yes. you got to meet? Um, and and the uncoolest. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do top. And, not hey, sick. We'll bleep it out. We'll bleep it out. Be honest. And why is it David Choi? Look, Cho? I'll tell you this Cho. much. <laughs> all respect to Usman, but out of all Wait. of the fighters, Usman definitely looked the most unapproachable. Unapproachable because he wasn't wearing a shirt. Also, when because you could see his nipples through yeah. the shirt, you're like, <laughs> kinda, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. wearing sunglasses inside. You know, he's yeah. one of those dudes. You yeah, know, yeah, he's yeah. just all about the kind of swag of where he's. Do you think his around. boy? Because his boy was fighting, so that's probably yeah. what the was he you whispering know. to? You were like, "What'd you uh, say, dude?" Was no, he was chill. I mean, I caught him in the corridor. You know, I was yeah. doing my Robin little trap techniques. You know, yeah, yeah. That's so, how wait, what is it? What is the trap technique? How do you? How do you? Technique is is one buffet line. Sit and you wait. Those motherfuckers start going to get some buffet. Then you go. That's what I did. The Rosas at uh, Apex Center. I learned that trick, you know. But um, and who, yeah, yeah, Usman. And who was the coolest, or like you ever felt starstruck? Like, oh, this is crazy. that I'm meeting this. Bro. Everyone was really cool. Pick really one, approachable. Pick one. Um, I'd have to say BJ. And here's the reason. Oh, why. BJ. Wow. Short lived, but look. Respect to Holloway. Holloway's one of my favorite fighters of all time. BJ is the one, in my opinion, who set the pathway for that Hawaiian mean motherfucker. Mm -hmm. who's a BMF, mm -hmm. right? Obviously, BMF didn't exist during the BJ Penn era, but BJ is the original BMF, and he's the original fucking scary, mean Hawaiian dude, right, who'll yeah. fight anybody at any yeah. time. So just to see BJ and how excited that he was just in general, it was just real dope to see That's that, cool. you know, yeah. from one Hawaiian to another. So, I mean, I think that was really kind of my favorite, coolest experience. That's you know, awesome. Some people listening now probably have no fucking clue who BJ is. I don't know, but, you know. That's like, kind of true huh think yeah. about it dude bj is like i mean the people who entered the modern era just saw bj sucking <laughs> yeah you know what yeah, I mean? they saw him against yair and yeah. shit yeah. like exactly. dude this guy sucks yeah. it was really guy? cool to see him yeah. um of course you know dan was real cool he was able to come by and say hi in the beginning before it got all crazy mm -hmm. that's nice um yeah that was real dope um and then of course at that point right when dana said hello and whatever we talked a little bit then at that point everybody around us was like who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, yeah for real. I knew it was David I'm a Cho. Nobody. I'm yeah. David Cho <laughs> talking to Dana White. Uh, yeah, yeah. Dude, that's awesome, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy you got to do that before yeah. your kid pops out. You guys yeah. can just enjoy, like, yeah, that's you, insane. That you both love yeah. so yeah. much. And all you fucking jealous motherfuckers are like, fucking, you know, like, yeah, oh, Alex, you know chill out, you know dude. I fucking deserve this shit. <laughs> I've been a fucking USC fan since USC fucking won. I'm an old motherfucker. So just to see UFC 300. Oh, really? Name four yeah. fighters on UFC 1. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Boyce Gracie, Joe Sun, Keith Hackney. Fuck. Let's Keith do Hackney. Hackney. The yeah. ball sack. Yeah, let's do, let's do the, the fourth one is going to be um, Kimo. Fuck. No, you know what? We Kimo's number one. The Hawaiian guy. He was the Kimo? Guy. Oh, oh, the big, no. yeah, the big, key. oh, so yeah, the ball guy, the ball guy. You got yeah, UC yeah. 300 Holloway, you have UC1, that big Hawaiian, <laughs> his tooth knocked out by the, oh, yeah, that's the skinny right. white guy, the by the, the, the French guy. Yeah, yeah, the French, yeah, guy. Yeah, the French yeah, Did you ever see, yeah. they did like a get together and they did like a round table talk. Did you guys ever see that? Video? Of like the Hawaiian guy? The UFC1, yeah, and they're all there. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was like all of the, yeah. the stars. The guy still has like a tooth missing. I think that was like his only MMA fight too. That shit was crazy. Dude, and that was like my ultimate dejection, UFC1, because I grew up taking Taekwondo and then I realized Taekwondo fucking sucks. Yeah. And I was like, dude, what is this freaking Brazilian guy that fucking laying down, dude, all gay? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What the, yeah. what did they tell yeah. or something, you know? Like, so <laughs> stupid, right? And then, <laughs> and then fast forward, you got freaking Barbosa land a spin kick, and then you got Let's Holloway go. landing back spinning kicks. To all noses. Ooh, we will get yeah. to that. Um, you gentlemen, being at your houses, watching the fight. Uh, well, I was at your house, but yeah. Okay, at my, at my home. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll start with Nick. How did you feel? Like, just watching it. Were you expecting? Oh, I was hyped, dude. I was in my chair by 3 o'clock. I had fucking done all my chores. I was ready to go. I was locked Scott, in. Scott's finishing his chores. Yeah, I had to do my chores before I could watch the fights all day. Did you day, start at okay? 3 p.m.? I got <laughs> yeah, I started at right, right at 3. Oh, wow. Ooh. I was, like, cooking, and I sat down, and I just didn't get up the whole time. It was, it was the most glorious nights of fights I have ever watched. I'm curious. Did you feel fatigued during it? No. Did you actually feel? No. Okay, I was, I was curious about I'm that. telling you, like, Okay, one, we all owe the UFC and Dana White massive apologies because everybody was shitting all over this card. Were, but we talked about this. Did we, did we, not we, me. We talk, Alex, not Alex. Fine, not Alex. Not Alex. But most of the, the internet, right? Most people were like, what the fuck? UFC 300 sucks. 299 is a better main event. Exactly. Or like, UFC 200 was better, whatever. But we talked about this. The matchmaking is what makes these fights. Mwah. 
It's of course you get these great stars, but the matchmaking was so good from top to bottom. There's so many like interesting um, stylistic matchups, and you were just like, how is this gonna play out? You know, so Davidson Figueredo, Cody Garbrandt. How great! That's the first fight. Yeah, I think, insane. I never thought I'd watch these guys at 3 p.m. And the fights were like it was still the arena was kind of full too. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, so like at the first fight it was pretty full, but then soon after it got full. Yeah. So like people who were like a little late they missed yeah, like the first fight or two. But yeah, probably by like the second or third fight. Yeah, I think by the time Andrade was up, yeah, there was a shit ton of people. Yeah, the fights were great, dude. The Bobby Green fight. Yeah. yeah. Like, every fight was no, awesome. Yeah, no fatigue, because you get excited about, like, wait, that's happening yeah. next? I remember I was talking to Alex. I was like, all right, do we have a break or something? He's like, dude, this fight's up next, and there's four more fights. Yeah. Like, I hate oh. my condition. I'm con- I watch every fight. This guy watches fight nights in, like, Belgium, and he's like, so I the first fight. Watch it, so yeah, he's, I get like, it. he's like, man, I'm tired. Like, when is the next fight? You I'm have like, to, yeah, you got to curb your enthusiasm for sure, but it's amazing. baby mama... After the Jim Miller Bobby Green fight, which was the second fight, she's like, <laughs> "I'm tired." Especially for hype too. But yeah. live though is different because you actually feel the energy of the whole yeah. fucking crowd, well, so you all get like adrenaline dumps and you're screaming. That's true. It's it's probably it's a different sensation. And baby mama, she spends a lot of time looking at all of the fighters' lives and everything around that life. So she knows way more than me. So she started doing the deep dive on Jim Miller. So she was like emotionally invested, super yeah. emotionally yeah. invested. Yeah. You know, yeah. like almost crying styles. You know, so, like yeah. Like speaking of emotionally invested, I feel like I don't know how you did this. You got Tiff to be like she's the in, number. Bro. His wife is like the number one MMA fan. I was not expecting that. She's Holy in because like posted stuff like this before. I was like, Tiff, what are you posting right? I now? always tell like guys who are like, yeah, I'm trying to get my wife to watch the UFC. Well, wait, yeah, tell girl. us your secret. So I just tell them like you got to get them involved in the storylines, like like what you said, Robin. Yeah, like yeah. like Tiff, her favorite thing is watching the post fight press conference. <laughs> that's the oh, most yeah. I love. That. I love them. Like when I heard that she liked that, I was like, yeah. that's so deep. And then she goes, and then I, she likes watching the MMA Hour with Air Hawani on Mondays <laughs> to see all the recap. And I'm like, dude, you are nuts. Like yeah. I don't even do that. And then she goes thrift shopping. It makes no sense, bro. And it's like she's so into all the fights and the storylines and all the cheese may as she would say the where cheese it, the cheese may where it's like um she can't look away and she just was so hyped because we're massive max Hall. we're mm. max always our favorite Me too. by yeah. far right Me too. and so she was just hyped to see him fight yeah and she loves their old story she loves his wife alessa yeah. and you know so you yeah. know everything now because of her no nah, straight up the three alessa. two kids and also they <laughs> yeah. went to high school <laughs> bro if i show you my instagram it's all stuff that she's sending me like ufc fighters and shit and, and I'm like, like dude, me too. Like anything related other than the fight itself, that's yeah, baby mama. She's always on all over. Like, it. Yeah, yeah. I, Every time I come home, they're watching some fighters' vlogs or some yeah, shit. She's yeah. watching the embeddeds without me. I'm like, you fucking asshole. Yeah, I my girlfriend watch that. does that too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, but she'll start- hey, how do you convince your girl to watch that, man? Dude, it's so easy, bro. It's just like she just <laughs> Uh, she just watches. What's her name? What's her name? <laughs> she goes to a different school, bro. <laughs> cool. She don't go here. She just live in this city, man. Chill <laughs> out. Uh, Alex, what are your just general thoughts in the card? I was with you. We were making artisanal pizzas, watching every fight. Well, what? you were making the pizzas, which were good, actually. Thank you. You can get down on pizza. No bro, lie. this guy know how to cook. Boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you with your dumbass apron, dude. Hey. I was wearing one, too. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Mine has my name on it. I'm better than you. <laughs> it was your Trust does? Me, you guys ate better yeah. than I Someone did, gave bro. it to me. Yeah, but <laughs> you'd, probably be, you'd be cooking if it was at your house. Um, those, those little noodle or rice things you made were good too. I bet it was. What do you think it's called? I told you the name many times. It's Korean rice cakes. What are they called? Try your best. Say panchan. Say panchan. Wrong, but it starts with two T's. Tanchan. Yeah. <laughs> the classic tanchan rice cakes. What is it called? Wait, wait are we talking about like tteokbokki? Like, tteokbokki? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> dude, Yo, I love I, me some tanchan. I, <laughs> I tell this to my girl all the time because that's one of her comfort foods. I'm like, Dude, tteokbokki is just one big fat fucking noodle. <laughs> hey, this guy loves fat noodles. Look at us. Fat noodle, bro. <laughs> no, the fight car was, I mean, I knew it was going to be good. Like, from the beginning, it's hey, just be like, humble. Be humble. No, I'm not going to be humble because everybody <laughs> shit on this car. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know what people were thinking. Like, this was such a good card. I feel like, I do still feel like they probably should have just announced the card all at once. It was a timing thing. Yeah. yeah. It was a timing In, thing. Instead of waiting so yeah. long to do this, because if they would have announced it all at once, everybody would have been happy. But you know why? They were waiting for Izzy and Drikas. They, 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 yeah, they, they were trying to do Izzy and Drikas, which, honestly, I still... I don't know. That, that would have been fine, I mean, fine, I guess. in hindsight, the moment we got, yes, exactly. iconic. Yeah, because no. I, I, oh I feel like, honestly, I feel like the Izzy Drake's fight's not going to be, 
it could it could be exciting, mm-hmm. but it also could not be that exciting. So I'm like, this is perfect. This was going to be perfect because they were just going to stand and trade, right? And someone was going to get knocked out. But... It was it was such good matchmaking. Yeah. Pereira, you put Pereira on anything now. He's the biggest star. Yeah. Oof. He's a huge fucking star. You know what? Let's start right there. Let's get into the car. Let's start actually with the main event, and we'll get to the BMF. But Pereira versus Hill. Yeah. Uh, Pereira won by KO in the first round. Uh, homie did something crazy. He got hit in the nuts, uh, pushed Herbine away, waited three seconds to regroup, and boom. <laughs> Upper, I don't know if it's an uppercut. Yeah, it's called the n- pinky, pinky punch. knockout. Pinky punch, yeah. pinky, pinky punch knockout. <laughs> yeah. It's like a little shovel. Uppercut. Jamal's yeah. eyes roll back. He goes down, uh, and then Pereira simply like does Walker. meme. Yeah, what is that meme? What is this celebration? People were saying it was a meme, but oh. he was looking at someone. People edited. I don't know if it's real, but he was looking at uh, Izzy. No, I think so. What, huh? it was. what was it? So Izzy did a Izzy did a, a video. A mukbang, with, right? You know that that guy that like His will dad? watch somebody doing something like yeah, all crazy, yeah. and then he he just does it all simple, and he goes. Mm. So uh, Izzy did a video with that guy, yeah, so then he yeah. was just copying Ooh. <laughs> that thing. Levels, man. Wow. They're already yeah. cutting promos, yeah. cutting wow. memes. Uh, Nick, start with you. What do you just make of that entire sequence? Well, dude, it, it's one of the coldest moments of all time. Mm. And if it wasn't for the BMF that kind of overshadowed it, it, it would have this would have been like the, the, the ESPN, finish of the night. But, dude, it's, it's signature Alex Pereira, right? Mm-hmm. Like stoic, stone-faced. And his experience, you can see, like, he was just waiting to find his range. Mm-hmm. And once he found that range and once he realized that Jamal Hill wasn't really throwing anything of, like, substantial power at him or something, or he realized, like, oh, I could take this, then he just stepped in and just made a shot. And the kick to the body, <laughs> or, I mean, the kick to the balls in the cup, he felt it and goes, okay. And then he knew, because he was like, no, 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 please, get away from me, because I'm going to KO this guy. Steps on his fucking foot. <laughs> brother, yeah. brother, 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 please, brother, 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 please, please. <laughs> Steps on homie's foot. Chama, chama. Chama, chama. Just the setup was so fucking good, bro. Dude, the, how he pumps his right shoulder oh. to make Jamal throw his cross, bro. I don't know if people notice that shit, but yeah. he feints his, his cross so Jamal will throw, and then he just fucking slams that hook in, bro. That shit was... Yeah, he it was incredible. Yeah, he downloaded his information. Uh, it he was knew it. To execute. That's why when he got hit in the nuts, it was like, no, no, no. Yeah, I downloaded it. Yeah, here I go. And he just knows his range so well, you know. And he just he established it, figured it out, and he was just kind of feeling everything out. And then once he started pressing him against the cage, I was like, oh, it's over. Mm. <laughs> there it was, dude. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I, I, I no, I was just I was. I felt like I said this the last time, but I felt like Jamal and his team were both downplaying Pieta's skill. Because mm-hmm. like the, I, there was like an interview with uh, one of his coaches talking about like he. Everybody talks about how great of a striker he is. He's like Jamal is a better striker. I'm just like, bro, you guys are tripping. Yeah. If that's really what you're thinking, that means he, you guys are sending him into this fight believing that, which isn't bad, right? You want your fi- fighter to believe that, but you got to respect the skill level of Pieta. Mm. Not only is he like super skilled, but obviously his power is insane, yeah. and it kind of just felt that way. And the experience, I think people yeah. don't really like realize how long this dude's been doing this at the highest level. Yeah, you think he hasn't fought another big, powerful striker? Like this is not the first time he's fought somebody yeah. like this. And I just saw the video of him hitting the 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 power, power thing, whatever the he power beat pack. Ganu, right? He yeah. beat Ngannou, right? He beat but like almost a lot by a lot, <laughs> <laughs> by fucking yeah. a lot. And he looked like he was just chilling. Yeah. Damn man, he yeah he has the hardest punch in the world. I guess is that is that yeah. fucking, that's it's not a Ford or? Escort, it's a Ford Explorer. <laughs> Ford Exploder. Ooh, yeah. remember because Dana White was like, Ngannou is like a Ford Escort yeah, yeah. hitting you at thirty five. Yeah, <laughs> uh, only Robin got I that. Know, <laughs> that's why uh, Jack asked when Danger Aaron uh, got hit by Ngannou. I was yeah. like, damn, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got it. Uh, Ford yeah. Escort right to his nuts. Yeah. Uh, were you there mentally when this happened, or were you already done? Uh, no, I was there, um, Were but you sleepy? also just leading up to it, uh, press conference and the ceremonial weigh-ins. Oh, yeah. Jamal was really confident at those weigh-ins. He was huh? talking a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. But more importantly, actually, is when see? the cameras are off. What did you see? What did so, you see? Uh, again, maybe I'm overthinking this, and maybe I was just already set on this narrative. But your opinion, what did you see? Yeah, you're David Hill Cho. Looked Go like ahead. He was spending the whole time trying to prove to everybody that he believes he's going to win. Mm. That's what I felt the whole time. Like the antics with holding the Just, trauma. Yeah, his mannerisms. And then there was a certain point where even during the, um, was it the press conference? I think it was during the ceremonial weigh-ins. I don't remember which part, but there was a point 
where somebody said something and he got triggered and he just turned into that scared child. Mm -hmm. You know, not like, oh, he was acting childish. It's just that that trauma kicked in where he's like, you know, like just that nervous energy of like, you know, like people are so mean, like, yeah. you know, and it was affecting him in that way. And sure. I mean, I think in a lot of ways he got in his own head, but how could you not? It's USC fucking 300. 300 you're yeah. the main event and everyone's talking shit that you're going to get killed by this guy. And you did. <laughs> wow. Um, but yes, that was a huge moment at UFC 300, but I think we can all agree it was probably overshadowed by... By Zhang Weili. By Z <laughs> Yeah. We're and like, can we talk about that real quick? TikTok? Okay, well, can I ask what, in the crowd, was it, what, was there a huge difference in reaction from that and the Max? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, most people that I was sitting with were pro Gaethje, and everyone's real nice to each other for mm. the most part, so... You know, everyone's screaming that, but there was a certain point where round three or four hit, and I said, fuck this, and I was like, oh, and then it was crazy because I got all, everybody got all amped up because Holloway was coming, like, yeah. fucking tearing yeah. through it, and then, like, at some point, I think the crowd just basically got won over, right? Because, yeah. I mean, when Holloway landed that, it was crazy. Yeah. So, yeah, I would say it was kind of mixed. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, okay. Uh, Nick, what do you want to say about uh, your people fighting for their... Well, I, I had a bet with the JK boys, right? And I had picked the fights. We had a three-fight parlay. Okay, it was nice. Max, mm -hmm. Zhang, and Pereira. Okay. And in my head, I was like, Max is probably going to be the hardest one because he was the underdog, like two to one. So the fact that we got that, I was like, okay, good. I think we should be all clear, <laughs> right? And then I see Zhang Wei Li choke out Yan. And after the first round, she's fucking slept, bro. She's stumbling to her corner. I disagree. And I was like, yeah. I, I figured you would say that. <laughs> and she's stumbling to the corner, and I go, what the fuck? They didn't stop it, so I'm bad because I'm biased. I need her to, her to I need win, the. Yeah. I need the W. Yeah. And then when Yang comes out and starts kind of winning, bro. Gotcha. I was like, I, I, I was being way too cocky. See? Yeah. Bro. See? Yeah. I was no, like, not like this, brother. Not like this. And I was freaking the fuck out. But then Herzog made up. I think Herzog actually made a very intelligent call. That was kind of sick. Because he stood her up, and then you can tell he was waiting to see if she was going to fall. Yeah. yeah. If at that moment Jan had fallen, I think Herzog would have completely ended that fight. Yeah. yeah. But I think he gave her that opportunity, and, she, you know, she was yeah, like, boom, yeah, boom, yeah. and then it was like, yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah, like, that's, there's, there's, on my opinion, I thought it was an excellent call. There's yeah. a couple ways to look at it. I think, all jokes aside, I think she was out. But that's why— She I, was for sure out. I was a little confused. <laughs> she was out, She was definitely bro. out. But I was confused of, like, then shouldn't the fight be stopped? But then Alex was even saying, but look, Zhang also kind of kept holding it yes. after the bell. I don't know. I'd have her to watch. Touched that's, her. Her. that's Chinese style. That's Chinese I'd have to re watch, agreement but no, I need to watch that. It's all the way. The bell rings, and Herzog's like, stop, and she's continuing to squeeze. Weed, hey, low key, she goes out. Yeah, I would do the exactly. same shit. Yeah, I know, but, to. Yeah, so, yeah. but it's like, yeah. same I got a in my opinion, it's like, <laughs> all right, if they're giving her all this extra shit, whatever, how everybody felt, I'm like, you need to because yeah. Zhang's the one that fucking held after the bell and put her out. But also, too, for like a KO or someone gets rocked, the only example I could maybe think of mm -hmm. was like when. Um, Pereira got kicked, like rocked by Izzy, mm -hmm. or it was um, kind of like, or Bobby Knuckles in the first fight with Izzy. He kind of got rocked a little bit going into the second round where he eventually got finished. Yeah. But is there a difference when it's like a fighter got KO'd? You don't yeah. like wait for them to wake up, like, we got a second no, round. For sure. She was out. But, but with when you get choked out, you have like, and you go to sleep, sleep. You got like 10, 15 seconds, and then you're back. Bro, she yeah. fought back. She probably hell. felt well rested too. She's bro, like, hey, honestly, a nap, bro. What, when you get put to sleep, you wake up like you got the best sleep ever, bro. Oh, oh, yeah. shit. We all just choked. That's why she came <laughs> back. And just, Nick told us to choke herself. She started. She started doing good. Right, Dude, she came back, bro. The she got a little nap. She must be mountain Chinese because her family. <laughs> Busted out the trinkets, <laughs> you know the yeah. straight up karate kid. Don't don't stuff, don't right? don't 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 dude, you can't do that, dude. That's yeah, I can't. I'm okay. Chinese. I was <laughs> there was just straight up trinkets coming out. <laughs> You know, like the whole family, the trinkets of, were all out. Bunch of lanterns flying focused. around. <laughs> Do you yeah. see the audience? All these lanterns. <laughs> like, what, the Chinese like, what the fuck are these coming <laughs> They're from? floating in there. Uh, but yeah, Jan, I was wrong, but damn, she looked good. She I looked thought good, she was gonna man. turn it. Chris I was surprised. Striking. But then Zhang, dude, she just had so much. She had a deep bag. So, deep bag. What an age we live in, though. Two Chinese fighters. Never s thought I'd see that ever. Yep. Yeah, um, Nick was teary-eyed when that happened. I was. I was <laughs> waving my fucking flag in my house. That's why I couldn't come over. <laughs> my flag went whole day the car. outside, <laughs> three o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, the people's main event. 
A lot of people did not like this when this matchmaking was uh, when this matchmaking happened because oh. people were like both of our favorite fighters. I was bitching about it. Yeah, I was mm -hmm. mad. But ooh, were we not <sighs> impressed, happy, and enjoyed this great UFC 300 moment? UFC moment in history actually was pretty great. Uh, Justin Gaethje knocked out with one second left by Max Blessed Holloway. We have the BMF now. The what is it called? Max changed it. Blessed man. Blessed man forever. Man forever. Yeah, I like Bell. that. I like that. Uh, all right, Robin, you were there. Give us the down low. That's all I care about. Holloway. <laughs> I mean, okay, so coming into the fight, right, we're all a little Max Holloway biased. Yeah, well, I'm we not a little. Said, we all said Max. Yeah, yeah, I'm highly Max Holloway biased. So the reason why you get that guttural response of anger is, is like, you want to protect what you love. Yeah, absolutely. And you're putting him against a guy who... You know, is probably going to outgun you because you know you look at the MMA math of Poirier, right? Mm -hmm. And again, you can hear all the fight hype of like, you know, he had some more time to do this and do that. But yeah, my heart wants Max to win, but I was mad about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be honest. We were worried, hundred percent, yeah, deeply like worried. You're concerned. Yeah. So when Holloway connected with that short right uppercut with that left hook and Ooh. hurt. Gaethje in the first round. Of course, everyone was talking about his back spin kick, which was, again, let's talk about that. But when he hurt Gaethje at that point, I was going nuts. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. That's when you realize, that's, for me, that's yeah. when I realized, I was like, one, Max is faster than Wait, him. Yes. And I was like, I didn't even think oh, about that. Yeah. And then two, Max did such a good job with his reads. Like, they, they studied tape, they knew his reactions, and every time he would dip, it was either the uppercut, yep. the spinning back, back kick, kick. Yeah. or they had they had stuff ready to go. Oh my yeah. God. And then you go, oh fuck, Max can Max is beating him right now. Yeah. Like Max is he's beating him to the punch, and you're like, oh my God, this is really gonna happen. Yeah, for sure. I think that yeah, what you said, that was the most like thing that I noticed right away. I was like, damn, Max is so much faster than yeah. Gigi. Yeah. I didn't realize how yeah. much faster. Remember the eyeballs? The he was so focused. Bro, oh, didn't yeah. blink. Like, we were like, he owl, was owl guy. Yeah, didn't bro. blink, yeah, dude. Gil Cut like that. You guys owl, have the same bro. eyes, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> you also <laughs> have to factor in, though, Holloway also was, in my opinion, a very elusive Holloway. Yeah. yeah. Holloway More than usual. Known, yeah, he's usually known as a guy who's going to, like, get punched, uh, you know, to give a punch, he's going to take a punch, mm -hmm. right? But I don't know. I thought he looked very elusive, and he was so fast, and his power was there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. his footwork, his movement. Yeah, it was it was on another level that we haven't really seen. Shout before. out to Taekwondo man for real. Holloway with the back spinning kicks. Oh yeah. Joe Rogan was probably jacking off when he was landing. Oh, he that was. Night, right? Massive. It was on screen. Yeah. <laughs> dude, he was <laughs> just like, <laughs> hey man. I should have blurred that out. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, dude, we're gonna demonetize. Sorry, my bad. John Holloway. <laughs> Holloway, like. The BMF title <laughs> was always like, eh, 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 you yeah, know? Like, this is kind of Yeah, dumb. and then when Holloway won, wins the BMF title, I'm like, BMF all fucking day. Who gives yeah. a shit about anything? Like, I mean, he epitomizes the definition of BMF. I got my replica in the mail, dude. By <laughs> definition. I'm going to start wearing his dollars. shorts when I go to outings, dude. <laughs> Bro, Target's going to have a field day. They're all going to just make that at I'm, Target. I'm going to wear extra $12. Yeah, extra large cup, but, yeah. you know. Ooh, yeah. Um, <laughs> did you, would you guys have any concern, though, at the beginning of the fight, or maybe the second round, when you started to see Max Holloway's calf kind of like... Oh, absolutely. And he wasn't affected by it? Absolutely. He was like, leg kicks are fake, dude. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> like, this shit, this shit is all... But honestly, you see guys... Like Yuri, right? Yeah. Oh my. God. He's in another example. You've seen him get his legs beat to shit. Yeah. Right. In Pereira fight, in the in the Rakic fight, it's a it's a. I think Max is a samurai too, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, you know what? it's all up here. Let's not say he's gender biased. Who's that one girl um, on Grasso's team? Which, uh, she Aldana. Brazilian. Yeah. Was it Aldana? I don't know. Aldana also. Got crazy yeah. leg kicked in that fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when they interviewed, she said, yeah, we trained for this. And uh, the way we trained is we just learned to just take the pain. <laughs> yeah. I mean, very Thai. Huh? I don't think uh, leg kicks affect girls, dude. I don't know. Maybe, Whatever the case was, Aldana did. That's a sidebar. We can talk about that for a while. Anyway, that's a whole one-hour video. That's a whole one-hour video. Being <laughs> live there, <laughs> Damn, Nick. Holloway, right. yeah. Holloway responding where when he was getting leg kicked, it actually live, it didn't seem as bad because he didn't respond in any way. And he made adjustments towards the end of the fight, yeah, too. Oh, too. Mm -hmm. Like, but yeah. when Justin Gaethje would place it, it's just like, all right, dude, Justin Gaethje's a master, so yeah. he's yeah. going to get touched up. Did Gaethje's leg get 
jacked up in the fourth or third round because there was a point where the push kick like stopped. Yes, yeah, so I was yeah. screaming yeah, that. Yeah, I was yeah. screaming that from from the body uh, tore something. Seats. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it looked, looked like funny. his knee was a little funny in the fight. Exactly. Though. Yeah. Like I, I think he wasn't. I don't know. But Max was also utilizing a lot of the like oblique kicks. St- obl- kicking a lot out of obliques for distance. Yeah. Whenever yeah. I see Max kicking a bunch, I'm like, this is what I need. See, to I, see, yeah, it's the variety. He kept touching the body, touching the head. He was throwing the the His stomp kicks. Right was, hand had so much diversity. Oh my goodness. and he would just blitz across, and he would just, see. man, he was very good. He Let was me the master class. What do you, Alex, answer this? What do you guys think? Do you think the fight would have played out different after the first round if Gaethje's nose didn't break? No, I don't think so. I think, oh no, really? Okay, I, I think Max's speed like i said the speed was clearly an advantage and he was fighting smart he wasn't just running in he was tagging getting out tagging getting out um i'm so happy too that he landed that be- and it bro- and it like caused the broken nose because like like remember we were talking about it before everybody's like oh his nose is broken though his nose is broken i'm like yeah but that's because max landed a kick it's not like it was some weird yeah. like illegal weird shit and his mm-hmm. nose broke he landed a spinning back kick as he was going towards the cage mm-hmm. and it just landed perfectly on his nose and they caught the read every time gage starts getting a dips. firefight he just dips with his hand straight like boom this. is always open kicked so. him head far away yeah leg extended right yeah and dude gage was legitimately hurt when he caught that short right with that left hook when holloway yeah. landed that before before that happened, and Gaethje looked slow before that happened, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Again, I don't know what was going on with Gaethje prior or whatever. He did look a bit slow. And, yeah, definitely a factor of his nose getting broken. But, man, Holloway looked so fast in the yeah. beginning, too, before that happened. He wasn't letting him get close. Yeah. yeah. And the whole, think- anytime he tried to press him against the cage, Max would just circle out back in the center. Yeah. Like, he, Gaethje wasn't really cutting him off like that. Yep. And I think people are surprised when they fight Max. Yeah, because he's a big dude, and like he's never. I, I think now he's starting to actually throw with power because Max is kind of known to like be a volume guy, touch maybe like 50, 60 percent, and I think he's su- he's surprised Gaethje. The other thing he though, threw too, some heat a lot. Mm-hmm. His game looked very different than his last fight yep. and yeah. the fight before that. Like he's he's evolving, evolving. like mm-hmm. even from the Volkanovski fight. Very deep. Imagine if we had this oh, this I Max know. fight yeah. Volk now, right? Yeah. Or mm-hmm. I think that's a lot of questions that are mm-hmm. being he, asked right now about that. Yeah, like yeah. this, I feel like this Max beats Ilya and beats yeah. Volk. Whoa, whoa, we'll brother, talk about brother, that. We'll, we'll get talk into about that, that, brother. The future storylines. <laughs> but first, brother, the brother, brother. <laughs> uh, let's watch what we also, if you want to listen, Robin, headphones, um, word, word, word. let's watch uh, what we all saw that night. And we're going to watch some Hawaiian fans react to this just to show the magnitude of this moment and Man. kind of the people that are behind them. Let's check it out. Okay. So that happens. And like, bro. Oh my goodness. Bro. <laughs> oh shit. Bro, a TV just plugged into the tree and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hawaii, baby. It's Hawaii, they just get their power from the tree. Oh shit. There you go. Oh my goodness. That must be so fucking cool. Yeah, I lost my voice. Oh man, I was sore because of how amped we got. My neck was all stiff and shit. Bro, when he hit that KO, it took me like five seconds to recognize what the fuck happened. I was in shock, dude. I was in fucking shock. Man, is there an American? Like, oh, he is an Whoa. American. Fighter, so. <laughs> <laughs> is there American people that? <laughs> nah, but you know, Hawaiian is different. It's yeah. different. Hawaii 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 different. Hawaii like, different. Like, do we get like a, a Michael Jordan? All the white guys were waiting for Bo Nickel to get something <laughs> like that, dude. <laughs> They're like, come on, Bo. Come on, we dude, got It's so funny because, like, maybe 20 seconds out. When this fight's happening, I literally, I tell Gil, I was like, I really hope he doesn't do this whole point down. <laughs> and then he does it. Yeah. And then he does oh, it. my like, God. No. BMF. That's so yeah. funny you said that right before. I was like, please, I hope he doesn't do the point down. Just because, like. But like, he won. Yeah. He won. He won. But Gaethje is probably the, I feel like, the scariest guy he can do that Dude, with. those punches that were still getting thrown. Yeah. They oh, look man. A little stronger than. You but know, but you watch you watch when they were fighting at that point when they did the the ten second little scrap body shots yeah the body oh. shots were there but also too Gaethje's like hella tall his feet were like unbalanced mm-hmm. right and Max was like he was low to the ground yeah, yeah. and okay bite everyone, down on the mouth I didn't realize this because I was like oh Max looks kind of the same on one fifty five right but mm-hmm. then you look at his legs bro He's thick, thick yeah. bigger that's, than bro that's Gaethje. Samoan legs cause mm-hmm. you see how you see how big his fucking legs are and that's honestly that's where the power is coming from yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean like. That's why he has so much more stopping power this fight. Yeah, the kicks, in my opinion, were a big part of the fight. 
Yeah. Amazing. Uh, Max got to kick him more. All please, right. brother, please. So coming out of this fight, uh, Max is now the BMF title holder. He also has held the interim featherweight title, the undisputed featherweight title uh, of both different generations, actually, different belts. Uh, now he's the BMF. What The question is, what happens to Max next? Before I wouldn't say his career was in a downhill skid, but it was just like, damn, it sucks. Three losses to Volkanovski. He's got to yeah. chill for a bit. They didn't know what to do with him. It was tough because he was also killing all the contenders, right? Yeah, yeah. he was so, destroying the 145 division. <laughs> but it seems like... This dude, every single door has opened up. At yeah. 155, 145, people are saying he can fight Ilya. He called him out. He also called out Makachev. Great like, call-outs, by the way. Mm-hmm. Beautifully said. Beautifully yeah. said. <laughs> Beautifully said. Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> Wonderful call out. <laughs> it's a good call out. Uh, what do you guys? Let's we'll start with you, Robin. Um, what would you like Max to do next at this point in his career? Um, I respect you, Connor. I know you've done a lot for the sport, oh, but let Holloway get his redemption. That's I know what he wants I'm talking Ilya, about. But let him That's get his rematch I like with that. Connor because that actually is not just the Connor show. Now it's the Holloway oh, Connor. Of you know what I'm saying? Like it's always Absolutely. like, oh, you know the Connor red panties night. Fuck that. No, Look, respect to Connor, but fuck that. Like yeah. Holloway should get his rematch yeah. and call him out. To redeem that for Max. And dare I say, it's the BMF with those two is probably bigger than, oh title, my God. than a title. Oh, oh my God. The build up. Thank you. Yes. I'm glad we're all friends, y'all. 100%. I'm glad we all think this. Yes. Now, give Amelia eventually, but I think actually, respectfully so, in the timing of the Twilight, also in Connor's career, let Max have that perfect timed. Sit out Michael Chandler for another year. Dude, honestly, who gives a fuck? Take Michael Chandler out of that fight. <laughs> Whoa! He's hey, not, no, no, no. the feed. But but I'll, I'll argue this. Connor has to look good against Michael Chandler. He does. If he doesn't look good against Michael Chandler, we don't need then it. we don't need this fucking fight. But, dude, it's perfect if he does walk through Chandler. Yeah. And, and I think he can. Yeah. He definitely can. If, if he trains and if he gets back in the gym and he decides this is what he's going to do for the next five years is just fight and not do any more... Movie. Whatever else he was Roadhouse doing. Roadhouse 3 and 4 and 5, yeah. <laughs> well, Roadhouse 3 and 4 and 5, I'll it. watch, I'll watch, like, I'll watch. I'll watch, it's good. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I, I think that's a great play. That's that's a great one. I actually didn't think about that, but in his career right now, mm-hmm. that would be amazing. Alex, what do you think? What do you want Max to do next? What do you want him to do next? I had a hot take. Give it to me. You want him to fight Mackenzie Dern, right? <laughs> yeah, Mackenzie Dern. <laughs> For the binary belt. Dude, uh, honestly, <laughs> I... You're stupid. I obviously everybody knows Max is my number one favorite fighter. No, he's my number one. Any weight class doesn't matter. <laughs> he's my, he's, my, he's, he's my my number one. Well, he's wearing a Hawaii Dude, UFC shirt, so maybe it's Robin. I don't. I don't mind him fighting. I don't want him to fight Islam. I'll just be straight. Hey, you know what? I don't need. That. I'd like to see that shit. I don't need that. I'm I don't. Gonna... I don't want to see him fight Islam. If he fights for the title, I want it to be Ilya. Um, but I would not be mad if our boy retired. <laughs> yeah, he. That was a hot take. He said. I was yeah. shocked. Nah, he's not gonna retire. Bro. I know, but he's thirty-two, just like, bro. It's just I know he's young and shit, but like, if he were tired right now, tell me right now, God, how would that not be the best yeah. way to go out? Very GSP, right? Because we don't know it until hindsight. Even better than GSP. GSP just left out of nowhere, right? After getting beat up by Johnny Hendricks or whatever. Like this would be the perfect way to retire. Yeah. I'd argue his fu- him you matched up with Islam <laughs> is actually a pretty good matchup because, in my opinion, I feel that, like— Is that your pick? This, I, I think, okay, look, my pick was Connor. That was me and Robin had this actual same take. I actually prepared that, and it's it's ruined now. It's fucking and Robin oh, stole man. and Robin stole fucking my ruined. Bad, my, my bad. Uh, no, but like I think <laughs> matchup wise, Islam Max could dictate the pace and the distance very well, mm-hmm. right? And I feel like there's a world where if he just stops like stops a couple of takedowns, piece him up. He he could do very well against Islam because this guy, big guy, brother, he's 5'11. Brother. Yeah. He probably, what, 170 on fight night? But with a couple lunch plates? Come on. Nice. A couple <laughs> of loco mocos. Ooh, you're going to have a lunch plate. Because, dude, I'd, I'd say he looked better at 55 than he does at 45. Yes. Maybe I'm tripping. I Maybe you're not. Well, because okay. he has the hey, speed advantage tripping. on these guys. You're walking with confidence. Shh, come on, dog. <laughs> Holy shit. You love there so long. Sorry. My, my <laughs> knock on the, on the Holloway <laughs> retiring into the sunset is leading up to Holloway's fighting style. Of his get punched mm-hmm. to give a punch, yes. But to see him evolve into, let's say, the more mature part of his career, where he's like, "Dude, my chin is no longer completely sustain. It's not, it's an unsustainable fighting style." Yeah. yeah, right. In a lot of ways, BMF is an unsustainable fighting style. But Holloway <laughs> yeah. fought 
elusive. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? He made it look easy. Yeah. Because he could have taken the harder path and just stand in a trade with Gaethje. Mm -hmm. But, you know. The implications of how much, including myself, thinking that he was going to be outgunned to what he did. Absolutely. Amazing. And, you know, again, I keep chiming on the Connor thing, too, is because we're at this point where we're just kind of sick of hearing Connor. Right, we're like speak for yourself. <laughs> so speak for yourself. Okay. Okay. Uh, Roadhouse Three fan. That's only why. That's really like, why I didn't care. I was just like, yeah. have you seen Roadhouse? Yeah. Exactly. You know, <laughs> you, you, you see <laughs> It's tempting to overlook <laughs> fighting Connor other than just the red panties night, but I'm willing to look at that fight on Holloway's terms, not Connor's. I like it that's because the, this, that's the mentality. And he mentioned that I, it. I'm going in with. I watched an interview where he got back home and he was talking to like the the Hawaiian news, and he actually <laughs> yeah, you guys, check out Hawaiian news. I, I saw that too. Hawaiian Channel news three. Yeah. And he does mention like he would like to get that fight back. So like if it's what Holloway wants, yes, that's I'm all for it. Hey, obviously, hey, stick to your hot take though. I like that. Hey, but but, but also think about. How big this KO was for Max. Yes. He's everywhere now. You got Shannon Sharp and Ocho Cinco fucking talking about it. Have you guys seen this video? Oh, yeah. Ocho, <laughs> okay. Dude, I agree hey, with Ocho Ocho's Cinco. I like Ocho Cinco. Like, like, <laughs> Ocho Cinco and Shannon Sharp have a podcast, and Ocho Cinco so funny. was so confident saying, because he boxes, like, you know, celebrity box now, that. He was shocked that Shannon thought that Max Holloway would destroy him yeah, in dude. a fight. What are we talking about? You know, okay, so Ocho goes, come on, come on, Shannon. He's like, you don't think I can beat this guy? He goes, what if my, I have my kids behind me? <laughs> Shannon Sharp. In the ring with guns. And, 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 and he, Max Holloway had to get through me to get to my kids. What would happen? And then Shannon Sharp goes, leave your kids at home. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, keep them very far away. <laughs> hey, those are, Max, those are Max's kids. Yeah. Yeah. You don't think that every one of these fighters are like, I got to put food on my table in the literal sense for my kids? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. dude, trust then, me. Dude, like, Chad Ochocinco is so rich. Yeah. Come on. And part of me is like, yo, he's just fucking Chad shit. Yeah. I, that's, yeah. I, think, I think it's a mix of that, right? He's I being silly. I think he's being silly, but that's also <laughs> what, that's also what the – the negative thing about letting all these celebrity boxing fights blow up as I much as they did because yeah, everybody's heads blow up. The money out. and the fame never got to Max, in my opinion. Ooh, Ever. For real, for real, for he real. stayed Hawaiian. He stayed true to it. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, that's like something so that humble. you overlook. Like, it's like he's a guy that just loves the sport that, in a way, it's almost bigger than him. Yeah. yeah, think about it. Like, when you he know? won the 600K, Absolutely. like, what are you going to do with the money? He's like, you have to ask my wife. She's the boss. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Humble. What does your wife say? Same, bro. <laughs> I have to ask her. Same, bro. <laughs> she, I, I, we call her school. <laughs> yeah, you know, she's the boss. Uh, no, oh, I uh, want to say one more thing. Well, dude. let me get my pick. Okay. I, I think, okay, so. Yeah, no one asked Connor, what thoughts. <laughs> kind of Connor, but also, you like the Makachev fight. You're for that. Retirement. Or Ilya. And he can do I'm, all the above. I, I'm, I'm big. retirement Ilya because I want him to get his undisputed back and then. What for and leave. Okay, I'm yeah. big with you then. Ilya is the. You got to strike while the iron is hot. Ilya is so hot right now in Spain. He is the poster boy. You put Max in Spain with Ilya Taporia and he knocks him out. Mm -hmm. Bro, in Wait, front of Ilya Rafael. Knocks out Max? No, no. Max oh, okay. knocks out Ilya in front of Rafael Nadal, the entire Real Madrid team. Yeah, name more Spanish people and go. Uh, conquistadors that I knew you were gonna say raped and pillaged the Philippines. The Philippines is going to back Max up for sure. Ooh. Yeah, he's going to say, fuck a miracle. Spamba subi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah um, so, yeah, a lot of options for Max. What was the one thing you wanted to say? I saw, I watched, I watched Max release a video of like him before the fight. Oh, yeah. And then after we watch that too, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't right. know why, but I obviously he already won at this point. But you always see Max, and he's always like, "Yeah, brother." He's always all nice and shit, right? But in the locker room, right before he got ready, he looked so zoned in, and right when he went. Ah, like he yelled, like he was like getting amped. I was like, yeah. oh, I've never seen Max like that, man. That boy was in there, locked in. We saw it with his eyes. That it was just such a great performance i was so happy with it any final thoughts before we move on gentlemen on max holloway and the bmf he's hey. a fucking legend dude Done. It's legend just, wait where would you put this moment don't be recency like don't have recent bias see like, this is one of the okay look there's i feel like this is in its own category of like not just ko it's just moment everything around it like this is top three ufc moments of all time because it's not what's up there i'm trying to think like uh, okay, Aldo getting KO'd by Connor. Oh my that's god, that's even that was also that's up there. That's wild. But like in, in a crazy way, that was it. Max Holloway just made his own lane. If that makes sense, like 
the, the shit of him pointing down to the ground. Every Max Holloway fight, there's a moment where you go, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. Well, what is this? You know, the moment where he put Brian Ortega's hands up to make him block. <laughs> I just rewatched that shit. The, that shit's and, and that whole fight where he's t- talking to Joe Rogan and goes, hey, I'm going to get him now. It. I'm going to get him now. This is the fifth round. Watch. And he goes out and just obliterates Brian Ortega. Yeah. Like, that was one of the craziest fucking moments. Or even talking to Calvin Cater. Calvin Cater, yeah. right? We look at that thing and it's, it's like, what is it? You haven't seen anybody do anything yeah. like that. Holloway's so, usually the BMF. Yeah. And, and the showmanship of him pointing to the ground. Remember Ricardo Lamas, UFC yeah. 199. OG. He does the same shit and everyone was like, yo, that's so fucking badass. Mm-hmm. And then he does it again mm-hmm. at the highest stakes to a guy that everyone thought was going to beat him. Who was, he was clearly winning. Except the casual. Exactly. <laughs> He was clearly winning. He had no reason to. It would be stupid for him to do that. And he doesn't. Kales him with one second left. Face plants to one of the baddest dudes in the world. Yeah. Understood the assignment. Bro. What is a BMF? It, it, Answered it. All the way. Yeah. And it's just, and it's not him trying to do that. It's just who he is. I think why, for me, why it's it's up number one, even like over Connor and Aldo, right? Because the thing, Connor and Aldo was insane. But it was like he right in the all beginning, <laughs> first, first, you know, like real punch that he threw happened so quick. And then now everybody can be like, oh, yeah, well, it was just like the first punch. I wonder what happened if the fight yeah. went on. Right. This one to me, why it's why it's up there is number one, because it was supposed to be this crazy fight. And it was it was UFC 300 and then Max winning the whole entire fight and him saying afterwards saying, look, I gave him I gave him his 10 seconds to try and win. He's like, if he was, if I was, if it was reversed, I feel like Justin would have gave me my 10 seconds to try and win. So I gave him his 10 seconds to try and win and knock me out. Mm -hmm. Like that, this is number one, just for what it was supposed to be. It delivered. Yeah. The whole fight was won and he still put himself in danger the last 10 seconds to get knocked out. And he knocked him out with one second. Yeah. Like the, it's just, it's, this has to be number one. In, in the modern era, I would have to say, cause again, I'm riding high on emotions, so I don't want to completely say of all time, but in the modern era, let's say you compete like with like even Sean Strickland winning, I think was also, if I was a redneck, yeah, You'd I'd be, be saying amped. that, yeah. right? Is, um, yeah. He's when, our Sean Strickland. Yeah. When when <laughs> Izzy redeemed himself and knocked out fucking Platon yeah. Cold, exactly. That's again, crazy. in this modern era, I would yeah. put don't that forget there. that all the biggest moments yeah. that we've seen. Factoring in this modern era of holy shit, like holy shit, you yeah. know, Holloway. <laughs> you didn't need to do it, bro. Yeah. Yeah. With <laughs> everything combined, I'll do it. And knowing yeah. that, yes, he takes the cake. Easily in the modern era. <laughs> I'm trying to pull your eye back. Thinking about eye pokes. Jesus, I'm sorry. Man, relax. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah, I would completely agree. In this modern era, it's probably one of the most crazy memories I will ever have. No, I thought this era. disrespectful. People were com- trying to be like, "Well, what about Yair Korean Zombie?" I'm like, "Get the fucking shit out of here, bro." That was yeah. such that was a fight night. They're both just like two ranked brother, fighters. Yo, yo, brother, yo, chill, chill, brother. Korean, Korean Zombie, zombie chill. Twister. Twister and cool. Leonard Garcia. Come that on, was oh, you guys. Because cool it was the that. first time, right, that yeah. it was ever done. Yeah, but still, but that's not three hundred. I get not, it. You're supposed to lose. It. Mark Zuckerberg wasn't at any of those fights. Exactly. That's he was true. at. He was at this. Yo, Zuckerberg's a curse because he actually went yeah. to Ke- uh, Gaethje's um, room before he came out to the I fight to be like, "Hey, just he did that to Max though too." Yeah. Oh, did he? I just watched. Oh, okay. The, okay. Yeah, and he gave him. He gave him. He gave him the meta sunglasses too. Max, like, I'm about to fight. Max is like, you know what? Actually, I'll take the brown ones. You saw that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zuckerberg. Dude, that fool stole my seats twice. You know, UFC 298. Call him out. Hey, the next, camera, call him out. UFC 310. Yo, Zuck, look, this humble old man right here. Ooh. I was supposed to sit next to Dana at 298, and I was supposed to sit next to Dana at 300, but you took my damn. Ooh. You know what, though? I'll give you a pass. Because- nah, you got to fight. You got to call out. You hey, call he was eating. He was you were eating. You were hungry. You were hungry. Hey. Hey. I built the mural on your <laughs> Facebook wall. <laughs> That's David you know? That's you know? David oh, Dude, I fucking, Dude, you got to call out the Zuck. Because he's looking for a fight. I'm no, sure you, we can Yo, you see 310. No, 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 we'll train. We'll train you, bro. We'll train you, <laughs> train you bro. Um, all right, guys. Yeah, BMF, it's, it's hard Crazy. not to talk about this the entire time. Epic. But so a, fucking epic. A lot more. Before we move on to our next fight, uh, I want to just get your guys' thoughts on Chael Sonnen getting inducted to the Hall of Fame, <laughs> but also without Anderson being there, and it's him losing, but yeah. also still a memorable fight. Do you guys think that's kind of funny that it's like... He's being honored to lose. That was the first thing I was thinking. Like, I was like, rude. I felt bad for that's him. That's fucking rude. He, I felt bad for him because it was like, 
Anderson wasn't even there, so it's like he just hey, uh, he like, lost. Chell, like, Chell, Chell, remember when won. you almost got the title? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put that in the Hall of Fame. I guess if anything, a Hall of Fame worthy thing is like he was probably the first really good shit talker. Like, oh yeah, really good. WWE style shit talk. Dude, Chael's the man. I love that guy. Yeah. Dude, I think big I, fan. Like anything with Hall of Fame, it's like I feel like if you were a part of something that elevated the sport, which mm-hmm. he did, mm-hmm. agreed. You gotta be inducted. I hope he gets his induction just as Chael Sonnen. Okay. Remember, remember, it's just, just like this fight. Brazil, you're a fucking dump. And look, whatever <laughs> what, that, cool. When he said that shit, I was like, oh my god, bro, this is wild. You're not gonna believe this. I saw Big Nog feeding a bus a carrot. <laughs> a carrot. <laughs> I swear to God. It's like, who is this guy? Chill. My favorite Shell Sonnen moment yeah. is when he's at the press conference with Tito Ortiz. And Tito yeah. Ortiz yeah. Oh, is, is like, he's like, you know, I'm a, I'm a lion yeah. in the Serengeti. And he just goes on this fucking thing that no one knows what the fuck Tito he's talking about. Tito is by far the dumbest guy on camera. Oh, I don't man. know how he's like in real life, but man, when like, I mean, I'm one to say because I get all slipped up in front of the camera too. But man, that guy is hilarious <laughs> just, of nervous just, energy in front yeah, of a camera. What did he say? It was like a lion. Oh, yeah. He just starts talking about this weird analogy. And then you hear Chell going. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Every time he's sleeping. Chell's so good. Yeah, and, then he when... go, and then he says something like Tito says something about like, oh, this guy only makes money off his mouth. And he goes, like, the only time the only person mm-hmm. that makes money off his mouth is your, your wife. wife. I was like <sighs> And he's like, actually I'm not married to her. <laughs> you guys I, lost, never got I married. lost divorce settlement, so just We're actually... <laughs> shout out to Chell. He's technically the first guy who in the public talked about Lance Armstrong when nobody could do uh when Lance Armstrong could oh, do no really? wrong. Wow. He was the first to talk about PEDS before all of that stuff happened. And look, up, and look also him, her guy that also did PEDS, yeah. came back, Darling works back for the company that let him yep. go. Yeah, um, amazing. He's amazing. like, I was more juiced up than a Capri Sun. <laughs> <laughs> Making fun of it. Fucking lie, Gotta love dude. it. Remember when uh, Tito was like, I want to outlive my kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. he, said that. Yeah. He, said, he said, I want to outlive my kids. We're like, what? All right, <laughs> you know, die is- before you? <laughs> A legend <laughs> in cringe, bro. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm gonna start saying that. Yeah, I want to outlive my kids. Yes. Yo, I remember one time when he was trying, when he was managing a cyborg. Yeah, and then Tito had uh, her get up on the scales, but the camera doesn't show her sitting on the scales, so he doesn't know how to translate that to the camera. So he's like. Yeah, see, she's uh, this weight. <laughs> you know, <and> then, <laughs> like you know, it doesn't show what weight. Nobody's officially saying anything. It was so awkward. That's a scale. I gotta, you'll find that clip. That's so a scale. Uh, all right, let's move on. Wait, a minute, we got a lot more to cover. Let's get through it. Okay, we're already at two o'clock. Let's see right. three hundred for the next three weeks. All right, here we go. Charles Oliveira, Armin Sarukin, Nick. This is your boy Sarukin. I had Charles Oliveira. Who did you have? Actually, Rob, I don't know. I wanted Oliveira to win, but I thought that it was going to be Sarukin's and fight. And you had dye your hair blonde as well, right? Yeah, Charles. Uh, Nick. You guys owe me three hundred dollars. Oh yeah, Alex, you. Owe us all hundred dollars. You know, I, was, I don't even know what to I'll say. Uh, okay, Armin Sarukin, man, first round, tough. He had that guillotine. Uh, that shit was tight. Yeah. It was tight. Your pants came off. I, I, that's I, the, I, what I said. Dude, I, uh, Unless Henry, you're so tight, his pants are coming <laughs> off, bro. Henner did a breakdown of that and said, honestly, if those pants were not loose, he would have had that sunk in. <laughs> the pants saved him. So mooning does help. Mm. Nah, that motherfucker wasn't going to tap, though. Dude, that was wild. He but was then, gonna go uh, out. What did yeah, you think? Was. What did you think about Armin Sarukin, your boy? Of uh, axe kicks for days. Taekwondo, bro. He's he, his grappling. I'm telling you, it's it's his ability to not be complacent in his grappling, and his positions are so good. When he had Charles Oliveira in the guard, I was like, oh, this is when Armin's gonna start raining down elbows, and he did exactly that. And we've seen him do it over and over and over again, and he's able to do that mm-hmm. to a guy who's so good at finishing people off his back. Yeah. The probably the, one of the most dangerous jutsu guys at 155. Yeah, off his back so, for sure. You know what I wish didn't happen in that fight? What? Is that they didn't stop it when the up kick landed. Mm. Because oh. because Charles Had threw triangle. it at his chest. He didn't throw it purposely at his face. He would deflect it and hit it. It hits his, his chest and then it hits his face. Yeah. And literally right after he has him in a triangle. Yeah. And I'm just like, I, no, I'm not saying that it, they were wrong for stopping it. I just wish that didn't fucking happen. He wasn't going to get, he wasn't going to triangle that much. Bro, that shit was almost locked in, though. I'm a triangle expert. You know? No, honestly, when You're I see. You're a little Armenian biased, let's be honest. I glenda all day, baby. I was Armenian biased in the sense that I was screaming at him. I was like, Armin, you're fine, dude. You're a man. You're yeah. fine, Armin. <laughs> hey, actually, hot question. Uh, who's more masculine, Dagestanis or Armenians? <sighs> Dagestanis, they're fucking rough, bro. 
They don't talk. Mountain. They're just action. Yeah, just fucking mountains. Yeah. Just yeah. fucking. Do they got black Mercedes? No, they don't. No. <laughs> I just, but, I, I just posted out. a video on uh, because uh, one of my Instagrams I've been following is called Only in Glenda, which is like you know like street yeah. people lost yeah. you know, but it's a Glenda version. It's so funny. These two Armenian guys are going at it, and one guy's in the G wagon. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Moment kudem, you know. Like, <laughs> I will say I've I've seen a lot of people mad saying Charles won. I wanted Charles to win, but he didn't win that. He, fight. Didn't, he didn't win. That he didn't win the fight. Armin won that fight. Mm-hmm. Um. Absolutely. Yeah. I was surprised it was a split decision. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Armin should have just won. He it shouldn't have been that close. Uh, Armin did win that fight. All right. Uh, so. Who's next for Armin? What do you guys think about Armin? First of all, do we know what happened? Did he punch someone in the audience? Yeah. <laughs> what, okay. What was, I thought okay, he would so. like lunge at someone, but <laughs> apparently Dana White's in the press conference. Like, we're probably going to get sued. So what the, happened? So the guy spoke out and the guy who got punched by Armin, because apparently he flipped off Armin. Yeah. Yeah, and then Arvid socked his ass out, and then he he apologized. He's like, "Sorry, man. Like, you know, I just the moment got the better of me, and I flipped off Arvid Suruki. <laughs> so at least he's like, oh, he flipped him off. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but you know what? It's because this is why Ar- Armin's a G, like an Armenian G. Yeah, <laughs> the, his instinct is to be like, bro. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Because bro. I mean, even when um, what was that time where he apologized? Oh, the press conference with Kayla when that dude was like asking him a question, and then he responded in that way. Uh, oh. About like you know Kayla and stuff you yeah. know like about the he would clap cheeks yeah yeah and they're teammates too they all train an American top yeah yeah oh. you know? <laughs> yeah but there's a <laughs> moment she, got back, she was like what the fuck yeah, random yeah. fan and there's a moment where Armin's eyes gets all ultra Armenian and then he, ultra yeah, <laughs> you know and then and then he, he cools he, off yeah and then he cools off so yeah. same situation but that. I love Armin. You know this motherfucker's down to scrap if he's fighting somebody on the way to exactly, his fucking dude. UFC yeah. fight. That's and he did it didn't phase him either. Look, again, before people's time, maybe, but Carl Parisian. Mm. Yeah. He was oh, my yeah. favorite dude, bro. Dude, yeah. I remember he, when yeah. they said when GSP knocked out his tooth, he says, No, it was a veneer. <laughs> he didn't want to acknowledge that it was a tooth. <laughs> it was a fake tooth. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Come out easy. So Armin, uh, natural thing is for him to fight the winner possibly of Dustin Poirier yeah. and Islam Makachev. Do we think that's gonna happen or does he take a fight before that? Nah, I, he's I, he's next. I wonder, he's if I wonder if they're gonna punish him because they offered Armin Islam and he said no. In June. Wait, wait, yeah. who who declined? So Armin. They, Why? They, but it was a timing thing, though, yeah. right? Yeah. Because he said he's he smart, had, though. He only he's had smart. seven weeks. But yeah, sometimes they don't like that shit, you know? Yeah, I get it. But at the same time, if he's going to fight a guy like Islam, yeah, you can't yeah. fuck around with nah, Yeah, you bro. can't give him two short notice Islam fights. You got to yeah. give him one. Yeah, he, I mean, all of Volkanovski. Yeah. 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 But it, it's kind of good that he has the Dustin Poirier fight. Dude, fucking Cody Brundage showed out, bro. I'm so proud of him. He did well. He did. He did. Everyone he's good. being sarcastic. For Cody. No, I know, but he, he, You're an Bo Nickel, dude, look at the odds. Bo Nickel was supposed to punch him, KO him in the first round. This you know is what I mean? why I feel bad for Bo. He's such a nice guy. Too much expectations on him. People really don't like that guy. No, huh? but you know what? I What's don't know if it that? was that people don't of... like him. I think it's because of the odds. Because everybody in Vegas put money on Cody. Why would you not uh, put ten yeah, bucks yeah, on yeah, Cody yeah. even on a low level, right? Yeah. Yeah. So at that point. Fuck Bo if you're on. Look, We're you're trying to make so money, da- yeah. yeah. You're so damn good that you're minus 2,100. Hell yeah, I'm going to put in 10 bucks on that shit. I do right? still feel like people were kind of so. salty that he made the main card, too. <laughs> that, too. Yeah. But, but you I know. get it. You want to bring people in with the next fight we're going to talk about. I know, Freeland. but there's so many fights that can bring you in, bro. Like, for sure, for sure. But when you're trying to raise, when you're trying to build stars, this is what they have to do. Yeah, this yeah, is the Sean O'Malley thing. Put they did they with Sean O'Malley yeah. when Connor fought a. Uh, Dustin Poirier, yeah. they put Chris Moutinho and Sugar Sean in the opening fight or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, you have to. The UFC knows what they're doing. Yeah. Alex, well, this is... you're not the UFC, dude. Because the first fight on the main card is like the, I guess like the scrappy fight or the yeah. fight that everyone's going really yeah, to I watch. Trust me, I agree, but my only thing is it's 300. doesn't matter. <laughs> Yeah. They're gonna watch him. They're gonna watch it. Who would have been better? Who else would have been better? There's no one else, I mean, dude. There's the no best one fight. Else. Yeah, the best fight on the card: Aljo and Calvin Cater. <laughs> 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 All right, let's move on. Yeah, look, Bo Nickel is gonna be great. He's gonna. Do I think he's ready for Hamza Chamaya? Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> do it. What accident? I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree. They should do it. Okay. Uh, we got. So Why let's move, let's move over to the prelims. This could have been. Fight of the night in any other situation. This fight was insane. Eerie. The Samurai Prozaka. I love this Alexander Ratchik. Me too. Say his name right. Eerie. Proyaka. Prozaka. 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 I'm probably not even saying it right. Uh, I will say I had 
eerie, but I, I felt good about Ratchik. And you know what? Ratchik looked good even after laying He looked great. Yeah, Scary. Yeah. Also, is he 500 pounds of muscle? <laughs> when I saw the first uh, first round, I was like, oh, shit, we picked the wrong guy. They had the scariest way in, in my opinion. Like, like it was the most, like, Intense. oh, Intense. Yeah. yeah. But honestly, though, where Ratchik really fucked up, and he, if he didn't do this, he would have won the fight. He shouldn't have called Yuri not a samurai. <laughs> I think because he even, Yuri even said it. Mm-hmm. He was like, "Yeah, that actually kind of made me upset. It hurt, it hurt my feelings." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, yeah. at the end of it, that motherfucker is a samurai, bro. Yeah. We talked about earlier with the leg kicks. Like those leg kicks really fucking hurt him. Mm-hmm. Every fighter has strong mental fortitude, but I really think that Jiri's mental outweighs his actual physical absolutely skill set. that's what because you saw a racket kind of like second then, guess himself as yeah. the fight goes on he's like what the fuck am i have to do to this guy because but that's every yuri fight he mm-hmm. gets cracked so hard and then yeah. finally finds his way back in mm-hmm. they're the most back and forth fights i've ever seen he is the most fan favorite fights that i've seen consistently because he's willing to take all the punches to the face yep. yeah just go straight yep yeah um samurai Bro, it's, he's samurai for real, dude. It's crazy. I, I was so hyped because I, I chose Oof. Alex, obviously, and I was like, "Oh, see, he's fucking good, bro." But, but yeah, he, I th- he is good. I think. I think he's, he. I, he's what, a monster. I think what Nick said though, he kind of broke once he f- realized he's like, "Damn, I can't put this guy away." Yeah, it kind of just like almost broke him a little bit. And and Yuri keeps himself in the fight. Right there was so smart. Right there too, when he just threw him to the floor because yeah. he's off balance, yeah. trips him, and then he gets him. But like he he's able to take so much damage. Bro. And, and then hit you with these weird fucking angles. Yeah, it's those angles. Dude, that yeah. hair's a little scrimmage. But Alex, you were talking about Alex Big. Dude, Yuri's fucking huge, too, bro. He looks yeah. so big. He's a big dude. He's a big yeah. dude. Um, all right. Well, this oh. might be actually... I, I wanted to chat about this earlier with the 205 division, but this might be a good time to bring this up really quick. With Alex Pereira, just a reminder, uh, he also fought with a broken toe. Yeah. Um, which I did not know that. No. Yeah. They just bro- posted the video today. Crazy. Um... We didn't really talk about what we do next with Alex Pereira, but we're in an interesting uh, position, right? Because Erie already lost to Alex, uh, but he is kind of nice and light. Ratchet could have been an option mm-hmm. for Alex, but I don't know what we do with Alex now. I do. Because you think heavyweight? No, no, no. Magomed? If he stays light heavyweight, he fights Magomed, and then Yuri fights Jamal. And even uh, even Rakic versus Jamal is good. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Rakic, he showed that, like, okay, post injury. Him coming back is a tough fucking fight against Yuri, yeah. right? I think so that, he could do well. I think the Jamal fight makes most sense, and Jamal called him out. But it does make sense, even though he's coming off of a loss, because then that allows Yuri to be interesting if he does beat Jamal to fight again, again for yeah. the title. I think that makes sense, mm-hmm. too. I agree. Uh, do you guys think, uh, going back to Alex, we didn't talk about it. Do you guys think Alex uh, 301 fights a heavyweight? Apparently he's out. I just saw a headline today. Because of the toe? The toe. Yeah, because I, of the injury. Dude, I'm do you think kinda... he should go up to heavyweight? At yes. some point, this to yes. fight, yeah, at some point, but right now, fight Aspinall. Aspinall I'm like, Ooh. Ooh. I'm like, dude, Aspinall. I just rewatched Aspinall. Uh, he, Aspinall's sick, dude. He's so good, and he, he like Daniel Cormier said it. It's different. Like he's huge. Yeah, Aspinall's a huge person, and he's and, quick. He might explosive. be a blessing in disguise, though. Yeah, yeah. because it might end up being Poatan versus Jones when he comes back. Yeah, <laughs> bro. That's what. That's the other thing. And yeah. that would be the whole Glover. Redemption yeah, exactly. Arc, right? He would redeem. He would redeem. Yeah. Glover's all of his losses. Dude, if yep. Pereira yep. fought John Jones, can what? beat John Jones. <laughs> oh my yep. god. Bro. I was really thinking about this, right? Yep. And I was like, I mean, even look at this. But John Jones is. Another level, too. Yeah. yeah, agreed. Another level, too. But John Jones, yeah. do all if anyone this. can do it, yes, it's the superpower that Alex Pereira has. Yes, I think, I yeah, agree. you put him against an elite, probably the be- one of the best strikers we've ever seen against John Jones. Mm-hmm. It could throw him off a little bit. Yeah, you know, he can keep that distance, and then also what helps is that he hits that hard, right? Yeah, he hits harder than Francis Ngannou, and everybody was excited to see him. Jones fighting Ganu. No, so this is the fight. Do I also, think Jones yeah. is gonna maul him on the ground? Yes, a hundred percent. But he gotta get him though. Yeah, gotta, gotta get, get close him. to him. And but, Alex does stuff like this. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> as a fan, win win. Yeah, win win. Jones wins. He steals all of Poatan's hype. He steals. Ooh, all and of when it. you get the invite yep. to go to that fight for free, you bring one of us. Your lady's had enough. <laughs> And, and well, maybe he's no. coming, so maybe. <laughs> it, it's great that you said that about if John Jones beats Pereira, he steals all the hype. He, he, then he solidifies. Exactly. Is he the greatest of all time? Exactly. He solidifies yeah. the Look, GOAT status for real. Uh, that's scary, Agreed. dude. And I'm, vic- I'm vindictive towards Nganu, in my opinion. <laughs> he broke her fucking heart. 
Look, he, he broke, broke my heart. heart because he doesn't care about the sport. He cares about the himself, money. Which I get makes hey, you. Go make your bag. You know, I right. get it. Shout out Dana White. I know, this is a little off topic yeah. with the John Jones. You guys see this shit that he said about Stipe? What do you say? Someone was like, He's a why, fireman? Yeah, why are you still trying to fight? Why do you think fighting a 40 plus year old fireman? Uh, helps your legacy and he's like yeah let's just forget about Stipe and all the money he's gonna make off of this fight uh, I'm like wait so are you fighting him <laughs> just so you can get Stipe rich or like, <laughs> look that's not the best look he's friends with a bunch of drug testers anyways Ooh. um Calvin Cater Aljamain Surin let's just keep it moving Aljo gotta win a tough fight wait up does, who does he fight next he's saying Brian Ortega I, that's yeah. a good fight yeah. right oh Mosvar he will live. Yeah. That's tough. To and I think he should fight more grapplers, bro. I think if he fights Mosvar, that'd be a sick Give him a fight. grappler. He's going to destroy all these strikers. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what people said about O'Malley. It's very yeah. true. Ortega Whoa. has a good – Ortega's jiu-jitsu is elite, bro. Yeah. That was – I will say that sucks uh, because that was the most boring fight on the card. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I thought Holly Holm, Kayla Harrison. Remember, originally I thought that nah, was gonna dog, be boring. Nah, that shit. Oh, I, Kayla, I changed my mind, but I originally. Let's talk about Kayla. Bro. Okay, I do. Let's talk She's about that her, B word. How bud. do you create a back like that? Oh, so basically judo. So <laughs> judo. I talked about her back the whole fight. So that's what I'm we're like, like. Look at her back. We're like, look at her yeah. arms. Look at that back. back. Everybody was talking about how ripped and how we all want to look like Kayla Harrison. But which is crazy, <laughs> right? Because Holly used to be the one where, yeah. like, dude, Holly yeah. looks like a freaking Barbie on steroids. You dude, know? but when you see high level judo players, they're all fucking jacked. I feel like. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it's true. She, dude, she's Dung insane. Gun was also huge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's gonna fucking. Uh, she's gonna be champ. Right. Yeah, I think so. The big question was, yeah, I thought that she was going to make weight. But then the question was, How was she, she going to have yeah. a diminishing return yeah. on yeah. that weight cut? Yeah. Dude. She's a pro, dude. And her tan is, she looked yeah. good. Dude, at the weigh-in, she looked terrible bro. at the weigh-ins. Oh, yeah, yeah, she did. She did. But I didn't realize how young she is. She's only 32. But now she's going to be yeah, settling in. Because of that yeah. skincare, it's that white girl skincare regimen, man. Yeah. 32. Uh, it's the moisture in Florida. Yeah. That, that was scary. To have someone on your back like that choking, like that, ba that back is Ooh, insane. Yeah, um, those hip tosses, bro. So All sweet. right. So, Kayla Harrison, there was an interview post fight uh, oh, backstage. Cool. Uh, the reporter asked, uh, Hey, did you watch this video of Amanda Nunez um, waiting for you to call her out? And Kayla laughed at that and said, I don't know, man. Be champ and then I'll do it. And she goes, Wait, wait a second. Yeah, Amanda, come back. Let me do that. And They're teammates. Champ. I, I didn't know that. Isn't that crazy? ATT? Yeah. They all train at ATT. I think Amanda Nunes left eventually. But... ATT is so big, though. Like, yeah, that's true. It's, it's kind of, you know. Colby they probably and... train with each other here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah Probably exactly. not main training. It's a department. super camp. I mean, yeah. it's probably the biggest camp outside of that Arizona one, dude, right? But ready? The next one, dude. Oh, my God. I call. Okay. I didn't realize you Diego Lopez him. was 5'11". Yeah. Well, so you said Sadiq. Guy. So. Yeah, you said Sadiq. I did so say Sadiq. You know what you're talking so you about. Me $300. I don't do owe you $300. <laughs> but uh, it cancels out because you owe me $300. But when I saw... Okay, I, dude, Sadiq is fucking really good. I'm very high on him. And then when I saw the height disparity, I was like, oh, no. And then Diego Lopez went out there. Wait. He is a fucking insane dude, bro. Yeah, he is. Why does it say Brazil? He's, he's Brazilian, Brazilian. but he's half Mexican in Mexico. Half yeah, he trains with like Alexa, Alexa Grasso and shit. I got you. That Look. uppercut. Two. Ooh. I was like, bro, Oof. he also covers two countries. That's dope. Brazil yeah. and he gets to do the Mexican market. Let's go. Bro, he has literally because of his look as well, mm -hmm. he has the potential to be a superstar. Absolutely. At 145, dude. Yeah, dude, because oh. he's good, man. And like I said before, this isn't like some new guy that's coming in mm -hmm. undefeated. Whatever. He has a good amount of losses. He's he's done his work. He's he, opening up Mexico even more. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Taking Mexico go to the next level and for sure because of this win so like he he it's not like he's just coming in not knowing what like losing feels like or adversity he knows all that shit he's just on a roll right now bro hey at the press conference this is when i thought this is when i changed my pick it was when sadiq was talking about bonuses and he's like you need to have bonuses for the prelim fighters Separate bonuses for the main card. Early prelim. And then Dana White's like, well, nah, dude. <laughs> dude, you know at the press conference what was hilarious was all the brothers 
when Jamal got away with the 600K, then all the brothers started trying to get more negotiations in. They're trying to, everyone, I'm, I'm like, because you can't Bro, hear everybody. Joaquin but, yeah. Buckley? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone I was like, trying to do a fight night main event, please. Not Derek Lewis. Uh, Dude, what are you doing? I saw the uh, post that today. Was it was so funny. And it's like, y'all hating on Aljo, but he is really an actual good actor. He's like, y'all see him acting all happy like he actually had a chance to get a bonus at the press conference. <laughs> was, oh, no, shit, dude. Man, that's so mean. Uh, <laughs> Lopez, he actually. Actually, uh, is it Lopes or Lopez? Lopez. Probably. No, let's call him Lopes. Lopes. Let's no. call him Lopes. They were yeah, calling Lopes, Lopes in the broadcast. Were they? Were they? Yeah, they were saying Diego Lopes. Lopez. Well, it's definitely Lopez. Is there a yeah. Z? Okay. Maybe not. Is there a Z? <laughs> <laughs> it's Lopez. Operator Lopes. 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 Dude, Why would Lopes? the S change? What do you the think it is? Beginning you were there. Did they it not say be, Lopez? It might be Lopez, though, because... Oh, like, my you know, God. No, no, here's the reason why. It's absolutely Lopez. <laughs> it's 1,000% Lopez. 1,000? 1,000%. One thousand? One yeah. thousand All right. No, but I get it, because it's like... No, yeah, he's no, because I didn't even know he was Brazilian. I thought he was just a pure Mexican. Hey, it's not Lopes, though. No <laughs> fucking way there's Lopes. It's Earlopes. That's his oh, nickname. Uh, it's yeah, Diego Earlopes. Uh, anyways, uh, he <laughs> called out... Uh, Mosvar. Yeah. Yeah, because that, that was, was that a good? Fight, is that okay? Oh, yeah. yeah. That bro. fight was right. fun, and he took it on, what, like two days notice bro, or some bro. shit? Bro, okay, Mosvar is 145 Habib. Same style. Yeah. Just wrestle you down, beat you up, high pace, and Diego did really good against him. He was threatening him, throwing up submissions, really fun grappling mm -hmm. match. Two days notice, too. Yep. All right, fun. guys, let's go to the early prelims. We had Jalen Turner versus Hanato, the real American Moicano, who's going to work for the SWAT team or FBI or something. That's what. That's the other fight you guys owe me 300 bucks for. Ooh. Dude, hey, Jalen Turner is that guy, and I always root for Jalen. I think he is him, that, but he that, should have finished the fight. That after front the kick up the, up the middle, and he hurt him. Dude, he's so good at that fucking kick. That's mm -hmm. like his thing. But and yeah. he's a fucking monster, dude. Moicano Bro. looked like his little freaking nephew. <laughs> You're trying to figure out something. But besides, <laughs> he's like me in the beginning of the episode <laughs> trying to think of a name. <laughs> yeah. Paul this oh, shtick that Moicano's doing, bro, I fucking love. I love it. I cannot I love it. afford to lose. Bro, this guy, this guy's talking on podcasts, talking about inflation and how we need to like start investing in Bitcoin. Or he's just trying to go like, he's the bro red pill. Bro, love honestly, it. and I'm it's working. It. I'm, I'm in. all for it. I'm in. I'm all for it. But probably one of the worst mistakes I've ever seen because my whole thing is like Jalen, I know you knocked him, but he didn't flatline. Mm. Like he got knocked down and kind of got right back up. Like I can understand you hitting a punch and you want to do a walk off KO, but like I feel like you know you kind of have to read the situation a little yeah. bit better in that sense. So I, it sucks because that was Jalen's fight to win. Yeah, because there was still a lot yeah. of time. Yeah, he probably needed to land one or two more strikes and then he flatlines him, and you're just like, damn, that sucks. I, I'd have to <laughs> say that the Moicano fight was. Closely the second, almost first upset on this card that where I was like, I had no mm. thought that Moicano was going to bring anything to the table. I just thought that Jalen was going to, yeah, bulldoze the guy. But I, damn, I, yeah, I was. Won. I'm always worried about Moicano's like grappling because yeah, that's what so he used. Yeah, yeah, like that's what he's been using in yeah. some of these fights where he gets rocked and you're like, dude, what's going on? Yeah. And then he. You forget that he's a jiu-jitsu black, black belt guy. Yeah. Dude, he held Jalen Turner down. Dude, Jalen's a big... Look, yeah. I know he's Jalen's not... But, dude, he's a big dude. Yeah, yeah. I think Jalen's a black belt, too, him. no? Yeah. Or he's yeah. like a brown belt was black he? belt? Yeah. I mean, Moicano was riding him like he was nothing. Yeah. Uh, but Moicano, Money Moicano. I like Moicano. Money Moicano. Moicano. Sick. I agree. I'm a fan for him. Also, I agree. he's a YouTuber now, and I like everything he's doing. Yeah. He cannot afford to lose. Oh, isn't he the one that also said Joe Rogan get to be my first guest on my Money Moicano? Joe's like... Uh, He's okay. like, you will be my first guest. <laughs> I'm all about that energy, though. I like yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. I like it. All right, Andraj, Marina Rodriguez. I was watching this. Kind of. I was like doing a little bit of stuff. Same. You were asleep with your pug. Me on. too. But uh, this was the one. I was fight petting I, my dog. I was petting my dog. <laughs> um, but I thought Marina won. I did too. Me too. Also, height difference insane. Marina's sick, dude. I and, think, she, and she took the the loss like. I think why like, yeah, is I lost that. Andrade landed the more powerful ones, yeah. and then like her like turning around, kind of like running into the cage. That didn't look the best, um, but I, it was a close enough fight for a split decision. I'm just like, all right. I did think uh, Marina won, but you know, I'm not too mad that they gave it to Jessica. Yeah. Um, how was the audience packed for this one, or people kind of leave in and out? I left, and then I came back in the middle of it. Um, so I went to the yeah, I was in the back, and then I came back, and when I was coming out, I literally that's when uh, the David Cho rush started happening. <laughs> oh, nice. So you're sending autographs as you're eating the fire. berries. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back, David Cho. 
Yeah, someone I'm was David saying, oh, I can't find the meme, but someone was saying Marina Rodriguez and Adidas have the same body type. That's that fucking really hilarious. Meme. Kind of uh, all right, like, this Bobby Green, Jim Miller. Bobby looks so good. He looked great. When he does. When he mm. does. I just didn't like how he beat the shit out of Jim Miller. I wanted Jim to win so bad. That hurt so my feelings. He lost $300. That hurt my feelings. He, it was it was pretty brutal. Yeah. Well, I was, it gets to a point, I know it's bad, where I'm yelling at the TV, like, stop the fucking fight, bro. Like, I'm, like, actually fired up You gotta give Miller a chance at any moment. You do. Yeah, but, dude. Because every once in a while, he would land, like, a big punch. But in the third <laughs> round, yeah, like, towards the end, like, that shit was yeah. pretty Wait, bad. Wait, so I kind of, like, I saw it, but in the first round, did Jim it looked uh, like rock he Bobby? Him. Yeah, okay. it looked like he rocked all right, all right, yeah. Bobby walked in with his hands. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, he was Bobby Green was hype. I hope they got taken care of financially because yeah. that should have been that was a great fight. Yeah. Um. All right. Davidson Figueredo versus Cody Garbrandt to open up the night. I heard yeah. Cody. Uh, Cody recently say that he had a tough time in the ring because he had vertigo, and he said uh, even after he went to go to the hospital and he was throwing up till four a.m. because of vertigo. Huh. But he was said he said uh, as soon as they went to the ground, he everything just kept spinning. Dude, you sh- oh, man. I don't he know. looked How'd so you- good in the first round. Yeah. Bro. I thought Cody looked good. Dude, how do you fight with vertigo? I don't know, but he was apparently just throwing up nonstop at 4 a.m. in the hospital. Oh, I could say I believe him because, like I said on the last episode, right, I was supposed to go do work with him, and he was sick. Yeah. Mm. So he uh, he had to uh, cancel. But but he's been dealing with, like, all these health issues, I think, since COVID, even before lot, COVID, a right? Lot. He's been sick. Like, he's it. been in and out, and I think that's the reason why we saw his record kind of, like, yeah. take a little bit of a skid and have some tough fights. But. And he fought a guy on steroids. But he, uh, <laughs> I thought he looked good in the first round, too, man. So, it yeah. kind of, it was a bummer. Just, uh, Davidson's, uh, he's picking up that that Cejudo boxing yeah. stance. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Which is, I mean, he looked good, in my opinion. Yeah, he looked good, bro. Like, he, he's a real contender at Bantamweight. Yeah, I actually thought that Cody was going to win that fight. I, I really thought it was going to be yeah. Cody's fight. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, guys, that is the entire car. We went long today. But before we leave, I want to do some, uh, there's some fight news, but we'll just wrap it into also some really, really early quick picks. Uh, first one is, we talked about Chan- uh, Michael Chandler, Conor McGregor, finally official International Fight Week. Who do you guys have with your instinct, not your heart, but your logistics? Alex, go. You're looking at me. I got Chandler. He's to he's actually training him. Actually, to <laughs> you see, so enthusiastic about the fight. Dude? Hey man, get some manager up, man. Michael Chandler. I could care less about this fight, <laughs> dude. Michael Chandler has been sitting on the couch, dude. He w- he he hasn't even been in a movie with Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, and, and, yeah, Conor McGregor has been sitting on a yacht. Hasn't even been near a gym. Uh, he's been doing stunt training, and it's really hard, right, Gil? It Tell him. It's very hard. So you know oh, what? It's I, not, bro. Stunt training is the easiest thing I've ever witnessed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. He's probably going to have so I'm many joking. more Shout techniques to 57 use. Or whatever. Rob, uh, Rob, you're not jumping on this improv, so give us some real takes. <laughs> I would say Chandler, not because I don't Fuck care about guys. Connor. Fuck and all you. Let me, Watch Roadhouse. Let me, exp- let me explain why. <laughs> I agree. I agree with Alex. I think that Chandler has everything to prove. And I think it's just Connor's Rocky yeah. three. Like it's just you know it's that stereotypical. Like does he care really? Anymore? But one seventy. Yeah, one Chandler kind of short. Look, that's that even makes it easier for me because I'm like Connor is is lazy and doesn't want to cut weight. Dog, Connor's gonna make this look like Eddie Alvarez, brother. I hope so. And he's gonna be Eddie Alvarez. I hope so. <laughs> he just gets like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> five piece from Chandler. <laughs> Emotionally, I want Connor to win because I yeah. want to see the Holloway. The fight. Holloway, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the conditions that Connor will win. <laughs> if he stops doing cocaine, mm-hmm. won't happen. he has to stop drinking. Probably mm-hmm. won't happen. He has to train full time, and and he has to train with people who are not going to deal with this, uh, put up with this shit. He's got to get rid of the yacht. Yeah. Okay. Chandler's gonna have vertigo the entire time of training. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he ha- Chandler has to lose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chandler has to be injured, maybe a ruptured ACL or something, <laughs> and he could probably win the fight. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. So another fight announcement: uh, New York, New Jersey, where they'll be uh, showcasing oh, yeah. the new UFC well, gloves. I thought they were gonna do that for UFC 300. Me too. But that would like, cool. We gotta test it out. For hey, us. I fuck with the gold gloves. Just saying. Yeah. I think they're sick for the champs, bro. Yeah. Little that's tight. Up. That's tight. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised they haven't done that sooner, but that's really cool that they. Did I think that. they're playing with that just because, like, even like the fighters, the more customizable shorts. I think. Th- I, th- I think yeah. that's yeah. more character. That's cool awesome. Hey, yeah. I feel like if you're a champion, you should be able to get customized shorts I agree. if you want, and those gold gloves. Because, like, say Poirier is a champ, right? He always auctions off his stuff for like to help people. Those gold gloves, you yeah, know, you money. can only get them if you're a champ, bro. He could sell those for even more yeah. money, help people out, and they're now authenticated. The gloves have chips. Exactly. In them. That's pretty cool. 
That's I wonder if they're going to put any like stats in there or something. Yeah, like how many like, times you? Yeah, I wonder if they're going to yeah, put any like stats you, in, in there. In the next ten years, <laughs> in the next ten years, sensors are going to be nuts. So yeah, I would say yeah. yes. Yeah, I would say yes. See, thanks, Robert, for backing me up. All, All right, so at Robin. that it was that UFC three hundred one or three hundred two? Oh, three hundred two. Uh, Makachev versus Dustin Poirier. We are there. It seems like they were waiting to announce that to see what happened with Gaethje yeah. and Holloway. What do you guys think? Early picks, Nick. Go fast. Islam. <sighs> Boring. Yeah, I gotta go. Islam. Boring. By Gaethje. I'm boring. I'm going to say Islam because, again, as much as I love Poirier, he's just riding off of that momentum, right? Of the expected to lose because you're the old guy. You won, so you get your fight, but Islam's... Dare I say, the X-Factors are always momentum. Yeah, the Bless Express has always been momentum. <laughs> With that being said, Poirier is going to shoot for 10 gillies, get none of them, but knock them out. Oh. <laughs> or, or he's finally going to shoot gilly, and it's finally... That, watch there. that, If man, Poirier oh. chokes out Islam... Ghost that is? He almost like, got Habib. Yeah, he almost did. He almost got that beat. shit was tight. Okay, now what do you guys think about this fight? Ooh, we got Sean Strickland coming back at the co-main event of that Fuck card yeah. versus Paula Costa. And that's guess what? what we want. Paula Costa see. looked good against Robert Whitaker, so it that did. actually makes me feel excited about. That's it. that's the fight we want to see. Yeah, I it like did. it. But, I, I got Strickland though. Really? His pressure. He's a bully, and I feel like he's so good at not getting hit. And I think he throws more volume, or he's smarter with his volume. Yeah, I think Strickland's gonna win that fight. You don't know yet. You're, you'll buy. I got Paulo, dude. dude. Mm. I think he surprised a lot of people with that Robert Whitaker fight, mm-hmm. and he surprised me because I was like, "Oh, he actually looks, looks way better than I thought." Very good. And I'm like, "Oh, he's getting better, yeah. and he's stronger and bigger." And and he's hanging out with Marab at the PI. He's got a, dude, he hang out with Marab, dude. <laughs> oh, dude if, I, if you guys still take that food, so at the press conference, I took a picture with Marab. Was he cool? Yeah, he's cool. But dude, did he pick if you up? There's one guy who <laughs> takes. <laughs> If there's one guy who takes his social media seriously in terms of like he was telling people how to take pictures, that's like, fucking so, hilarious. So when I took a social picture, media influence, he wouldn't even talk. He'd just be like, no, like this, and then he'd just make sure we we're at the right angle. So he was coaching, and then anybody who was taking a picture with him, he would coach them on that's like, no, 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 sick. yeah, or the, yeah, he would just have somebody. So it's just pretty funny that's to see so Marab funny. like that. Uh, who do you got, Costa or Strickland? Uh, I got Strickland because I'm biased. I, I fucking love America. Uh, I'm up to do it. Go Nick. Costa looks so good against Robert Whitaker. I'm excited for this new version of him. It's gonna be a great fucking yeah. fight. It's gonna be. It's a banger. Shit. That's the yeah. first time I've gone against Costa too. Hopefully, no one pulls out. Please don't. Remember, it's probably even, gonna be Costa. Even when Costa fight Izzy, I had Costa. That's correct. That's yeah. That's insane. That's insane. You owe us three hundred dollars for that. That's <laughs> insane. Uh, final pick: uh, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney. I know you guys don't care. Haney. I got Haney. By Illuminati. I have Ryan Garcia via his new interview where he kept singing. Did yeah. you guys see that? You see he's, where he gets shoved today? He see, yeah. he, he got shoved, and afterwards he was like, nah, nah, nah. I'm he like, seems he's like he's losing, losing he's his marbles. How old is yeah. he? 24, maybe 25. Yeah, yeah. It's tough, man. It's kind of like weird to watch. Like, Haney, you know, Haney's too good, bro. Yeah, being in the limelight in your 20s is an interesting thing. I feel like he's going Yeah, it was hard for me, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what about Max? They're fighting on Hitler's 18, birthday, dude. That's my girlfriend's dealing with right now, too. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a lot, it's a lot for you right now. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, that is our show. Uh, please leave a comment down below. Uh, who do you think um, Max Holloway should fight next. There's a lot of options out there. You got retirement. You got Ilya. You got Makachev. You got fighting Conor McGregor. Not for Red Panty Night, but for BMF Night. Come on. Hell yeah. So leave down in the comments below who should Max Holloway fight next. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. We love you guys. Peace. Peace out. Peace.